like to congratulate the jury of your peers. I'd like to congratulate the jury of your peers. case that made national headlines. Former Valley teacher Brittany Zamora will spend the next two decades behind bars after pleading guilty to child sex and molestation charges. The two victims were students at the school where she taught sixth grade. That's right. In 2016, she was voted teacher of the year. Today, though, she was in court at her sentencing where she apologized to the victims for having that sexual relationship with that 13-year-old boy for a span of six months. Victims' family members were there, too, and they scorned Zamora, saying that her actions have forever changed their sons and both boys continue to suffer mentally and emotionally from trauma. Let this sink into your head, Brittany. Your mind is foul, your heart is ugly, and you disgust me. You should be embarrassed and ashamed of yourself. This woman is a twisted monster and she belongs behind bars. 28-year-old Brittany Zamora showed no reaction to the harsh words of the victim's parents. The former sixth grade teacher pleaded guilty to three felony counts, including child sex and molestation. Victim A was 13 years old when Zamora began having sex with him, and she's accused of grooming victim B, an 11-year-old boy, to be her next victim. Ms. Zamora starts a friendship with these boys and gains their trust and then lures them in for her own sick sexual desires. That the only reason the defendant was caught and is sitting here today is because victim A's parents were monitoring his cell phone. Zamora has already served more than a year behind bars. Her family showed their support at the sentencing, telling the judge she needs counseling and rehabilitation. I'm sorry for any undue stress or pain that I may have caused. I'm ashamed of my actions and I'm completely remorseful and truly regret what took place. The judge did not impose the maximum 27-year sentence. Zamora will serve 20 years in prison. She'll be on lifelong probation and she must register as a sex offender. I am a good and genuine person who made a mistake. I'm a good and genuine person who made a mistake. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, Teach you with a video. Now, this is an update to a story I did last year around March 2018. And it's an update to the teacher story of a Brittany Zamora, who was 27 at the time, but 28 now. But look at every bit right now of a scary ass, 50 years old, because she just got sentenced to 20 years. And by the way, uh, this is going to be grown folks talk. So I need all of you all today, since, since it is a Sunday evening, to get those sweet, precious Badass kids out the room right now. I know a lot of y'all like to hear your kids being bad, but hell, you call them bad souls, so why can't I? But anyway, get those precious babies out the room right now so us grown folks can have a quick dialogue so I can maybe try to save one of you all children today. Get them out the room right now. Okay, hopefully they're out the room by now. See, I gave you all the extra five seconds. You should be clapping like, yeah, thank you, Trey. A lot of y'all like, Trey, there ain't enough downtime. But anyway, tough titty if it's not. Now, we have a story, an update to a story I did around March 2018 last year where we had a school teacher. Yes, a school teacher, another hot in the pants school teacher, like an old song, uh, Hot to Try. But anyway, now this teacher was seducing a 13-year-old boy and an 11-year-old boy. An 11-year-old boy was a 13-year-old boyfriend, and she just wanted the 11-year-old boy to watch out. Now, they was getting busy all in the classroom and every damn thing on several occasions. So what happened, the woman, the teacher, wanted the 11-year-old to watch out and participate, but the 11-year-old just felt disgusted by the whole thing and said that he couldn't really do it no more. He did not want to see them doing it. And basically, this woman said, and also her lawyer, I don't know, what kind of lawyer she got. I guess that's why they made the movie with Keanu Reeves called The Devil's Advocate. Because certain lawyers, they do play The Devil's Advocate. I'd be like, well, damn. At least some of them getting paid to lie. Now, this lawyer said, and also the teacher said, that it's not really her fault that instead of her grooming a 13, uh, uh, the 13-year-old, 13 the 13-year-old was grooming her old-ass 27-year-old self. She was 27 then. Said the 13-year-old was basically grooming her. And they try to say that this wasn't no regular 13-year-old. I promise you, if that 13-year-old that bad, 
That's a future pimp right there in the making. That's a future dumb bishop. Well, bishop dumb magic one, if you will. Now, they try to blame it on the child, but you should have did like Millie Vanilli said and blame it on the rain because we know damn well if you let a child seduce you, which a 13 year old is a child, something is wrong with you. Now, we live in a day and age where they're trying to make this messing with children stuff legal. And I'll be damned, we have to hold on to our morals and our values in this country. I said we have to uh dig deep into our reservoir of understanding that our parents have taught us and laid upon us, if you will. Now, one thing we was also taught is that adults stay in adults' place, even so, though some don't. A child stay in a child place, even though some don't. Now, I get it where people are trying to make this world more corrupt than what it is. That's why we hear stories like this of adults messing with children. And then they trying to slick side justify it in the courtroom like, well, it wasn't her fault. This wasn't no average teenager, as you all seen in the uh, the newsreel. But you have to ask yourself this. What decent person is going to sit up here, number one, and mess with a child? And then number two, giving this child blowjobs all in the classroom, number three, and then, I'm pretty sure, because she was a decent looking woman, she ain't the best looking woman, but she's not an ugly woman, so let's just be for real. She could have went and got any damn man she damn near wanted, but check this out. What I'm trying to say is this, she could have went and put that mouth on any damn body. You didn't have to go put it on no damn child, and anybody that mess with these damn children out here, some of these kids aren't even washing their ass and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Some of you all, when you was a child, didn't even wash up good, and still don't now, so don't get mad at me, I'm just being for real. But, leave the kids alone. You feel what I'm saying? Give them time to grow. You feel what I'm saying? Like Whitney Houston said a long time ago, I believe that the children are our future. Teach them well and let them what? Lead the way. Not sit up here and participate in oral sex. I'm going to read a snippet from this story. And I'm going to give my opinion. All of it. Surely, as we go. Teacher Brittany Zamora, 28, but look every bit right now of a scary 50 in the face who had sex with a boy, 13, while his pal, they said pal, trying to make it sound like it's all kidding, while his friend watched, he gets 20 years in jail, his friend only watched a couple times, his friend said he couldn't take that shit no more, he said he couldn't even, he couldn't, he couldn't, he just didn't know what to do, that was 11 year old, you know that was too much for 11 year old to see and stuff like that, like damn. Now, a pedophile teacher, and that's the correct name, thank you, because it ain't just the men that's pedophile, it's anybody uh a cookie or wood man or woman if you mess with a damn child you're a pedophile i don't give a damn who you are a pedophile teacher who had sex with a 13 year old boy was branded foul sick and disgusted and also old faced by the trey king show family by the child's mom as she was jailed that's the mom the mom went off on that health in the court the mom said i don't want to use my son nothing but you just destroyed my baby mind. That son is destroyed right now. That's all he think about is sex. Now, Brittany Zamora, 28, but look every bit of a scare ass, 50 years old, because she know what happens to child molesters in prison. Yes, men and women. You don't know the, y'all didn't know the women get it worse? You know why? You know why? And I don't say I'm being nasty. I'm just being honest. It's common sense, because you all have more holes than the men's. Let's continue. Now, she was sentenced to 20 years in jail, doing, well, not in jail, in prison, doing an emotional hearing at, of all places, Maricopa Superior County Courthouse in Phoenix, Arizona. Damn, that's a lot of damn words. Make your tongue tied. And all this was just on Friday. I was going to do it yesterday, but I had other videos to do yesterday. I said, I got to hurry up and put this one out here and stuff. Now, they say also in a skating victim impact statement, that's the statement that the victims give before they give you as that sentence in court. Before the sentencing, the boy's mom, who was not named to protect his identity, who was yeah, who was not named to protect his identity, said, I hate you for what you did to my son and my family. According to the news station, we should not suffer for someone else's sick pleasure. But we all are, except for the son. The son have memories that will last a lifetime. I'm not trying to sugarcoat this. I'm not trying to put sugar on shit like some of us say. But all of you all feeling a little destroyed, except for the 13-year-old son. Now, the prosecutors and the boy's parents condemned Zamora for grooming the youngster for sex, then leaving him badly traumatized after she sexually assaulted him on at least four occasions. Like, how dare you? 
Put that old whippersnapper on that boy. How dare you put that damn herpes infested mouth on that child, Digger Lane? You know damn well you're wrong. A lot of y'all might be saying, oh my God, Trey, Trey is just too real. No, it ain't that. It ain't that. You have to, you have to get past the emotional part. You see what I'm saying? Cause as long as you get emotional, you don't get mad about it. Then you ain't gonna want to hear the truth. Take the emotion out of it. Just put yourself in this little boy place. Put yourself in his mom and daddy place. What if Brittany Zamora had that package? What if she had that gangster, that jungle juice? I'm talking about AIDS and syphilis. Just because something look good doesn't mean it is good. You ain't never heard that old saying, everything that shines is not gold. Y'all better believe that shit. That's why you have fool's gold. You know what I'm saying? And, and fake diamonds, Cuban zirconia. Now, his mom said she tried to groom my child. And to believe this behavior is okay. And that's what they want. The parents to think also. That's why they do this type of shit. Uh, they want, they want to slowly because they can't implement this stuff overnight. They have to do it slowly. You know what I'm saying? Like week by week, they take one step and they'll stop. A month passes by, they take another step. So they just inch it on you. Next thing you know, it's legal to marry children if the good people of the world don't say anything. But they think we just talking crazy. But anyway. Now, they say also that she's a true definition of a child person. And yes, she is, just like these nasty-ass men is. It don't matter what you got down here. It matter what you got up here because guess what? You know, evil don't give a damn how you look. Evil and lust and sexual perversion don't care uh, how old you are because it's evil and it's perverted. So what I'm trying to say is this right here. Just because something look a certain way does not mean it's that way. You see what I'm saying? You know, do you think the... uh for those who believe, if you will. Now, I'm not necessarily saying a Satan or a devil. We just say evil. Do you think evil is going to come to you with a damn uh, pitchfork and with a damn tail with fangs sticking out of his face with blood dripping everywhere? No, it's going to come to you in the most beautiful thing in the world, like Keith Murray said back in the day. It's going to come to you looking very beautiful. You see what I'm saying? But listen, you know what I'm saying? Everything that shines is not gold. It may be that package. You feel what I'm saying? Leave that shit alone. Your mind is foul. The mom said, the mom went off on his helper. Your mind is foul. Your heart is sick. And you disgust me, you raggedy bitch. That's what I thought she was going to say. You deserve to leave prison when you are too old to bear children. And when she said that, they hit me right in my gut. And I ain't even a damn woman, as you all can tell. You feel me? But when she said, you're going you're gonna to leave prison too old to bear children. I'm like, oh, mama went there right there. I bet some of you all did too. You like, just, you ever, you ever heard something so impactful or seen something so impactful? It just stopped you. You just go like this. Like, like, like you taking a damn, uh, rap photo back in the nineties. She then scream, you're forever labeled a child molester. And everyone hates a child molester. At least mostly everyone. You got a few of them just love evil, period. They be rooting on like, yeah, go Brittany. Yeah. Get those sausages before wiping her tears with the paper with her statement. Made mama cry, but mama held her ground. You feel what I'm saying? I bet mama went home and talked. Cash money shit on that phone to her friends. Yeah, I told her ass off. I told y'all I was going to tell her off when I went to court. Y'all thought I was playing? Y'all know me. And her friends bucked him up. Yeah, you always been crazy, girl. Zamora stays silent. Hell, what else can she do? You sitting up here done put your mouth all on that woman's son's diggling and stuff. Got a little Jimmy fucked up in the game. You know what I'm saying? Jimmy don't know what the hell to do. They got Jimmy on Ritalin. Got him on Prozac. And probably got him on medical marijuana. Zamora stays silent. Doing a diatribe. But her eyes were seen to dart from side to side while she was shouted at. I'll be looking from side to side too. I know why I wouldn't be in that situation. But just say, speaking from her point of view, I'll be looking side to side too. Scared which one of them going to jump over this damn court rather and whoop my ass. That's what I would have been looking side to side for. I'd be looking just like that, like, Y'all watch them. Y'all watch them. I would have been just like that. And the jailer probably said, well, shut up. You're going to get whooped anyway. After the judge sentenced the pervert teacher, and this is what they said. Boy, I'm telling you, salute all day long. I knew it was the reason why I wore this damn Eagles hat today. After the judge sentenced the pervert teacher, giving her credit <laughs> for 500 days in jail she already spent, the victim's parents stormed out of the courtroom in disgust. Like, she should have got life. But they gave her ass 20 years, 500 days credit. She done been in jail ever since March last year and stuff. She can't wait to get around somebody's damn son. She just don't know what to do with herself. She don't want no Tom Cruise. She don't want no Brad Pitt. She don't want George Clooney. Hell no. She wants a young Macaulay Culkin off of Home Alone. That's who she wants. She wants the little kids off of Home Improvement. You know what I'm saying? That's what the hell she wants. She wants Tim the Two Man Taylor kids. Before the dramatic statement. Zamora attempted to apologize to her victim and his family during 
Fried is here in a pet courtroom. But wasn't nobody trying to hear that shit except for the little boy probably. The little boy sitting back there like a little man, like they're like, I got you. When you get out, I'll be ready. I'll be damn near 40, but I'll be ready. She said, I am a good and genuine person. That's a damn lie. Who made a mistake and regretted deeply? Why every time they go to court and they be in the courtroom for the most disgusting, diabolical shit, they sit up here and say, well, I'm a God-fearing Christian. I gave my life to Christ when I was seven years old. I was an acolyte. If y'all know what an acolyte is, that's like in the Methodist where you have people that light the candle, that's called an acolyte. Anyway, I, I was I was a pall barrier. I was this and that. But hell, it don't matter if you go to church 10 times a damn day. It's a difference between going to church and being in church. So what I'm saying is this right here. Look, everybody that say they good ain't good. You judge them by what? Not by their words, but by, by the deeds, by the fruits of their actions, by their labor, what they do. Zamara, a former teacher at Los Brasas Academy, was arrested in March of 2018. They been had her ass up in there after she was discovered to have had sex with the boy Numerous times, and this way it's getting a little greasy right here. Once in a classroom, while another student looked out, she didn't give a damn. She'll bust that thing over in front of anybody. She didn't give a damn except for grown men. Why the hell do these grown ass people, men and women, run to children? And they say, it's a part of them ain't growing up. I don't believe that shit. It's just evil. Period. It's just disgusting. What the hell can make you look at a little girl or a little boy and, and get turned on? That's what I want to know. I don't understand. Now, the witness later told police they were just doing it and doing it and doing it well, like LL Cool J said. It was very uncomfortable. And you know that was a little child said that when he said it was very uncomfortable. It's probably smelled like burnt Cheetos and damn uh, baby back ribs in there that been sitting outside all day. It's like weird. Hi, 27-year-old can like love a 13-year-old and do stuff. It's just crazy. She's not a good person. That's the damn uh, lookout guy talking right there. He's only 11 going on 12 and stuff. And he's talking better than the adults in there. And also they says the following day, Zamora asked the witness if he could watch again. And when she asked the other little young boy, could, she watch, could he watch out again? You know, they give him watch out and stuff. Like she'll be back there in the corner. He'll get up there by the door and stuff. You remember when we was in school, even though we weren't in there getting booty with the teachers. Probably some of us were. We, we didn't know nothing about it. But you know how you used to do stuff in the classroom and you try to look out. You know what I'm saying? People around the corner and stuff out the classroom door before the teacher get there. That's what the hell Zamara had the little boy doing and stuff. Now, she asked little man could he look out again. But little man said no. He said he reportedly refused emphatically like hell no. I don't want to smell that shit again. They right. said the relationship began after she asked him to message her on his school message app. She is just damn crazy then. Don't you know the school got control of all that? Claiming she was bored, but the conversation quickly became sexual. Now, number one, show you something is wrong. The fact that she would ask a child to message her on a school messaging app, and then the fact that you said you're bored, but you got all these horny-ass grown men out here who can't wait to break you down, but you want to go mess with a little boy. That's what it was. So you want somebody just to wait it up. You didn't want nobody to beat it up. I'm sorry. I just got to keep it real right there. Now, the boy told the investigator, she said she wanted to give me a blowjob, and my stuff is really big. And stuff like that. Later clarified that his stuff was his penis. No shit, Sherlock. We know the hell what his stuff meant. Now, police said Zamora sexually assaulted the boy in the back of the classroom while other students watched an educational video. They also reportedly had sex in her car. So those little white stains y'all see on the seats, that ain't deodorant. That ain't milk. That is you already know. Now, the two also exchanged notes with hearts and affection statements like, you are sexy. Oh, that's so cute. They're living out their childhood dreams. But anyway, that's enough. I'm going to leave the rest in the uh, link in the description below so you can go check it out. But it's a damn shame that you have grown women and grown men out here who would prefer a child. Then go get that ass up to somebody old enough to take it. That's all I'm trying to say. You can't miss. Look, you know damn well if that wood or cookie mess up a grown person mind. Can I talk to you right now? You know damn well if that wood or cookie mess up a grown person's mind. Imagine what it's going to do to a young, fragile, not yet fully developed mind. Imagine how many how many pieces that brain is going to shatter into when they see that. You can't have that. Leave the kids alone. You see what I'm saying? It's bad enough kids having sex with kids. They don't need to have sex with adults. Let me know what you all think about this. And let me know what did you all think about Brittany Zamora also. And do you believe, and do you believe that her apology... 
it's heartfelt that she's really sorry. Just let me know what you think. And also, what do you think about what the mama said, that she's a foul, disgusting piece of shit? Pretty much that's what the mom said. She should have put that in there too also. Anyway, if you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends. And to everybody out there who have children, talk to your children. To everybody out there who have a son or a daughter, no matter how old, they don't give a damn. As long as they walking around. Some of them ain't got to be walking. Watch your children, talk to your children, and let them know, look, these are the little things to watch for. You can't give them too much because they're still innocent. But at the same time, just talk to them and stuff and let, and let them know if there's anything you need to tell me, please do not hesitate to talk to me. Y'all take care. I am out.